Hey friends, Tux here. This is actually kind of a re-review. I actually reviewed this camera a while back and I had some real problems with it. And the company actually got wind of my video and they decided to send me one, a replacement um, on their own, which is really nice of them. Um, and they wanted me to go ahead and try this again. So this is kind of like a re-review of the intelligent PZT camera, okay? This is available on amazon.com and you can check it out there. I'll have a link for you actually in the description down below. So you can click it and get the link to see it. You're yourself on Amazon. Um, this is actually a wireless camera, okay? I mean, it's supposedly 1080p, okay, which is great. Um, basically, it's three steps. They say it's easy to connect wirelessly. Just turn on the power, download the app, and then fast Wi-Fi connection, you're good to go. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, it basically has remote app, two-way audio, HD. The loop recording is a really good feature. Basically, it means that you're not gonna run out of space. I've had people who think they're recording and then all of a sudden, the card is full and it just doesn't record, okay? If you're on vacation far away from home, you don't want that happening, you know? So it's really important that this will actually basically start the, the process over and loop the recording back to the beginning again to allow you to continue recording even if you run out of space, which is good. It has motion detection, uh, has warning and playback, okay? Uh, cloud storage, very important. Wi-Fi and day and night switch. So very cool stuff. And this is what looks like the packaging. Very, very cool. Um, here's the barcode. If you need to pause that, you can, but I will have a link for you again in the description down below, okay? We'll go ahead and open this up and see what this is all about. And let me see if I can get this open. Last time this package is, it's a really great retail package and it is hard to open those. So this may take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work here. In fact, I almost need like a little knife or something. Here we go, I got it. We'll go ahead and pull this open here and check out the contents. Inside there's a little piece here to keep it nice and protected. And then here's the camera itself, okay? Just like before. And then at the bottom here is the accessory pack. Let's take a look at the accessories real quick. Um, inside of it has everything you need to get started. It has a nice little white USB power, uh, okay? So this is kind of like your standard USB power. You probably have a lot of these, but it's actually really nice. This camera includes one in the box. So I really do like that feature. They do that. Um, it gives you a nice white cord here. This is a standard USB cord, which is kind of like a micro USB cord. You can see here, okay, micro USB to USB. So even though you might have some of these, this is a, like a nice long one, okay? So it's nice having a nice fresh cord for your fresh camera. And the fact that it's white, it matches the camera. It's nice and long. It's nice, good, thick quality and stuff. It's nice they include this. So again, very, very cool. Now, some companies don't actually include hardware and it's actually really great that this company does give you a couple little drywall anchors, a couple screws. So very cool stuff. And there is a little cap here too. So very nice. And that is pretty much it, except for the book, which I'm not gonna go through every page, but just to give you an idea, it does have some nice color pictures in it. Um, basically, let's see color, um, explains the uses of it, operation guide, how to turn on the device, the reset button, adding cameras, the different functions it has, real-time preview, and so much more. Very cool stuff, motion tracking, and that is really cool, actually. Not all cameras have that, but this camera will actually, if you have like a cat or something in the room, the camera will detect the motion, and then it'll like follow the motion in the room, which is actually quite cool, okay? Um, looking at the camera itself, this is how it comes, and it comes in a nice little plastic bag, keep it nice and fresh for you and we'll go ahead and open this up and show you. It's a really cool design, it looks very space age. So I like that a lot, very high tech. Um, here it is itself, it has like a little blue cover here. So we're gonna pull that off so all our video isn't blue. You can see it's like a blue little protective cover. And there it is, and so the ball here, basically this little sensor senses motion and it will move this like artificial intelligence almost eye around, which is great. On the back here, we have Wi-Fi antenna, although it does have ethernet. I really recommend ethernet if you have the means to do that, okay? Because it's actually um, much faster than Wi-Fi, although it does have good fast Wi-Fi. Ultimately, wired is always a better way to go for high quality video like this camera is gonna capture for you, okay? Um, it does have little speakers here on the side, microphones, and this part here does turn too, okay? So not only can this camera go up and down, this part here can turn like that, okay, on its axis, which is cool. It does have a small mount here, okay, so you can mount it kind of like on a tripod or something, and really great, I like this a lot. Let me go ahead and plug this in and try this a little bit, and we'll be right back. 
Okay, and we are back. I had a chance to test this bad boy, and I have to say, the motion detection is really good, actually. It can really track things in the room, like people walking by or animals and stuff. Really great. So I think this is definitely a go-to camera. The picture quality was excellent, and actually, as far as the um, hookup, it was very easy to hook up. I did try the Wi-Fi. Actually, I used that, not the, the input here. And it actually picked up frame rates, didn't drop or anything. I had great frame rates, great picture, and it worked well with my Samsung camera that I used on my Samsung phone, I should say, that I use the app on. And you can download the app, I should mention, on both Apple, like iTunes, and on Android as well. So you have good options, no matter if you're an Android guy or Apple guy, you're still good to go, okay? Okay, to recap, I wanna thank my friends at Cedar and their great customer service for sending me a replacement camera. That was really nice of you guys. This one worked out great. Um, it really did a great job of tracking, so I would say this has some of the best tracking capabilities of other cameras I've used. Um, when I hooked up to my Samsung phone, um, I didn't use the Wi-Fi, I just used the, I didn't use the Ethernet, I should say, I used the Wi-Fi, and um, that was fine, although I'm sure the Ethernet would be great too if you didn't want to hardwire it. This did not come with the Ethernet cable though, so that's why I did the Wi-Fi method, but to my surprise, actually, again, there was, there was no frame rate drop from using Wi-Fi, so this actually works great on Wi-Fi, you know, which is really a testament to the quality of the device, so that's really good. Um, again, this is available on the link down below for you, so click that link, protect your home, check it out. All right, friends, I want to thank you for watching us. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.